Hello and welcome to this session of Handa Ka Fanda. This is in response to Prashant Chavla's questions on probability which he asked on our Facebook page. Let us consider n consecutive numbers. Among those n consecutive numbers, every third number that you consider or rather 1 in 3 numbers will be divisible by 3. 1 in 5 numbers will be divisible by 5. I don't know which one but one of the x consecutive numbers will be divisible by x. Say for example, I consider 50 consecutive numbers which are from 51 to 100. Now I do not know which ones but 1 in 5 is divisible so that means how many of these 50 numbers will be divisible by 5? Exactly 10 of them. How many will be divisible by 10? 10 is a factor of 50, exactly 5 of them. How many will be divisible by 25? Again 25 is a factor so I can say 2. How many will be divisible by 15? That I do not know. Why? Because 15 is not a factor of 50. So there I need to consider which is the first number divisible by 15, which is the last number divisible by 15 and then I can calculate. Say for example here, it is starting from 51. First number divisible by 15 I know will be 60, then 75, then 90 and I guess that is it. So there are three numbers which are divisible by 15. How many of them are divisible by 17? Once again, I do not know because 17 is not a factor of 50. So I'll have to check again. 51 is divisible by 17. The next one will be 68. The next one will be <coughs> 85. And I guess that is it. So this will also be 3. Let us look at a very similar example here. It is also 50 consecutive numbers. But now I have changed it from 50 to 201. Here it was 51, 200. Now notice this. How many are divisible by 5? No need to consider what numbers are there. It will blindly be 10. How many divisible by 10? 10 is a factor of 50. Blindly you can write 5. How many divisible by 25? Once again nothing to consider. Directly you can write 2. But for 15, again you need to make that calculation because 15 is not a factor of 50. My calculation again gives me 60, 75 and 90, that is 3, but with 17, as you can see, the answer will change. In this particular range, which is the first number which is divisible by 17, that, as you know, is 68. After that, I get 85, and that is it. I get only two numbers. So as a broad rule, you can understand that if my divisor is a factor of the number of numbers available, then I can directly say the number, uh, the number of numbers which are divisible. But if it is not a factor as this was the case here with 15 and 17, then you need to calculate the first one which is divisible and the last one which is divisible. Let us now look at the problems which were asked by Prashant. You already saw them in the previous slide. For the first question, probability that a 4 digit number is divisible by 8. I first need to figure out how many 4 digit numbers are there. They start from 1000, go up till 9999. There are 9000 such numbers. How many of them are divisible by 8? As I just discussed, how many are divisible by 8? 8 is a factor of 9000. I can simply divide 9000 and get 1125. So my required probability of the event is favorable cases that is 1125 by total cases that is 9000 and my answer comes out as 1 by 8. Very similar but slightly difficult the next question that the probability the 3 digit number is divisible by 3 and remainder of 3 it gives a remainder of 3 when divided by 5. First of all how many 3 digit numbers are there? They start from 100 and they go up to 999 there are 900 such numbers. They need to follow two restrictions. One, that is divisible by 3. So they are of the format of 3k. Second, they give me a remainder of 3 when divided by 5. So that means a multiple of 5, 5k plus 3. My number has to follow both these restrictions which can be merged and this restriction is obtained which is 15k plus 3. So my number has to be of the format of 15k plus 3. Now I look at another thing. How many of these 900 numbers are divisible 
by 15. 15 is a factor of 900. Exactly 60 are divisible. Not only that, if I know that exactly 60 are divisible and 15 is a factor, how many will give me a remainder of 1? 60 only. How many will give me a remainder of 2? 60 only. How many will give me a remainder of 14? 60 only. It is the same set which keeps on getting followed. So for my question, how many are my favorable cases? 60 are my favorable cases. Total number of cases is 900. The 900 three digit numbers, which means my answer is 60 by 900 or 1 by 15. As you saw the question in the previous slide, my number n has exactly 12 factors. If a number n can, is written as a to the power p into b to the power q into c to the power r, where a, b, c are primes, its number of factors is given by p plus 1 into q plus 1 into r plus 1, which right now is given to me as 12. How can I write 12 as a product? It can be 12 into 1. Suppose if it is 12 into 1. That means the power of a prime should have been at least 11. My number would be 1024. But this is invalid because my number has to be a two digit number. Then I try out 6 and 2. So that means my power should be 1 less that is 5 and 1. So that is 2 to the power 5 into 3 which gives me 96. This is a valid output. Then again I look at 4 and 3. That means my power should be 1 lesser as the powers you can see here p plus 1 q plus 1 powers are p and q 4 and 3 will give me 3 and 2 my powers are now 3 and 2 i get 2 cube into 3 square 72 two digit number valid answer 3 cube into 2 square oh this goes above it becomes 27 into 408 which is invalid next case 12 can also be expressed as 3 into 2 into 2 that means my power can be 2 1 and 1 now with 2, 1 and 1 as pass, I can get 2 square into 3 into 5, 4 into 3, 12 into 5, 60. Valid answer, 2 digit number. 3 square into 2 into 5, 9 into 2, 18 into 5, 90. Again, a valid answer. 2 square into 3 into 7, 4 into 3, 12 into 7, 84. Again, a 2 digit number and a valid answer. But my question was not finding out just these numbers. It was on probability. So I need to figure out the total cases or the total two digit numbers which are from 10 to 99 and 90. Hence, the probability of the required event is favorable cases by total cases, favorable cases as you can count here, 96, 72, 60, 90 and 84, that is 5 of them. 5 by the total here as you can see is 90, 5 by 90 or 1 by 18 is my answer. Thank you. To get a video response, connect with us on our Facebook page, facebook.com slash handakafanda. Thank you.